in problem 1-1b in chapter 1. So this problem uh, goes through 11 financial transactions that we need to record. So transaction 1 um, says that there's an investment of $10,000 cash in this business by the owner. So there's an increase to cash of 10000 and an increase to owner's capital of 10000 So you'll notice at the bottom that total assets is 10000 which equals total liabilities plus owner's equity of 10000 Transaction number two, it says they purchased equipment for $5,000 cash. So we have a decrease in cash of $5,000 and an increase to equipment for $5,000. And again, the accounting equation remains equal at the bottom. The number three is that they paid $400 cash for main office rent. So we have a decrease in cash of $400. And we have a corresponding decrease to owner's uh, equity for $400. Transaction number four says they paid $500 cash for office supplies. So we have a decrease in cash for $500 and an increase to office supplies for $500. In number five, they said they incurred $250 of advertising costs uh, on account, meaning that they did not pay the bill up front. So on account means we have an increase to accounts payable and it's also an expense which reduces owner's equity by $250. In transaction number six, they received $6,100 in cash from customers for repair service. So now the company has earned revenue. So we note that they received the cash and we increased revenue by $6,100. And in transaction number seven, it says the owner withdrew cash, $1,000 cash for personal use. Okay, so cash decreases $5,000 and owner's withdrawals also decrease owner's equity $5,000. Then in transaction number eight, um, it says they paid a part-time employee salaries of $2,000. So there's a decrease in cash of $2,000 and owner's equity is decreased by $2,000. In the transaction number nine, it says they paid utility bills of $170. So cash decreases by $170 and expenses decrease on his equity by $170. In the transaction number 10, uh, it says they performed repair services worth $750 on account. So account mean, on account here means that they have an accounts receivable, that they are going to receive revenue of $750 in the near future. And that is also a revenue item. And then transaction 11 uh, states that they collected cash of $120 for services billed in transaction 10. So the $750 here um, was the initial transaction and the company is receiving $120 of that transaction. So meaning that uh, accounts receivable is going to decrease by $120. Okay, the second part of this transaction or a problem is that um, it says to compute the net income or net loss for May and that's part B. So we can take total revenues which is 68.50 and subtract out total expenses, which are 28.20. So my net income is revenue minus expense. So my total net income is 4,030. 